Peyton uh, Hughes said that, that after the interception, he kind of came on the sidelines and said, I just didn't see him. Uh, after, you, after you went uh, you went and watched the film, uh, what, what do you think happened? You just, just didn't see him? Yeah, I just didn't see him. I should have looked out there pre-snap and did a better job of, you know, I knew what the coverage was post-snap, but I, mm -hmm. I was looking more down the pipe, middle of the field, and, um, and like I say, I just didn't see him at all. So, uh, you know, threw it out there thinking that Baldo was wide open. Yeah. Obviously, he was not. So, it got to be better there. Can't, can't be turned the ball over, period. Definitely not, you know, backed up like that. So, just got to gotta do a better job of seeing what's out there, I guess. Not to keep harping on it, but was the broadcast said, like, sun in your eyes? Was that part of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> the, sun, the sun's a lot worse at practice than it is in the game, so. Uh, after the Texas A&M game, um, like, I think it was, like, with Deal, a couple of the other guys said, like, it just it felt like offensively, like, you guys were lacking it, which is why your coach said this morning that maybe some of that's coming back. Like, some of the, obviously, just clicking more on some of the explosive plays. Like, how have you seen that progress kind of over the last few weeks? Absolutely, you know, uh, chunk plays like you said, uh, explosives that that gets you rolling, and uh, you know, just the if you want to look at the the physical aspect of it, running down the field and chasing a big play, you know, it gets your juices flowing a little bit. I'm sure there's some psychological, you know, research to be done there or something like that. But um, you know, building on what we've been doing and getting uh, you know back to some of the things that that. You know, we were maybe more familiar with, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's the first year, you know. We, we can't say that we, you know, have something to fall back on because it, we're setting the foundation still. Um, but, yeah, playing with tempo, uh, getting some big catches down the field, and obviously Jarquez and uh, the other guys getting some, some big runs. Um, it definitely builds momentum, builds confidence. Freeze mentioned this morning that he said Holden had a really good week of practice. I know that. That position for him where maybe he's not getting into games can maybe be a little bit difficult. How have you seen him kind of take that in stride this year and maybe progress in practice over the course of the year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I've gotten to know over the course of the last few months. Uh, he's my roommate on the road, so we, we have a chance to talk. And, uh, you know, he, get, he got uh, a good amount of reps uh, more than uh, usual this week. I thought he did a good job with that. And, um, you know, just uh, he's done a good job being consistent all year. You know, he, he comes in, he watched the film with, with me and the, and the coaches, and he's there, and he's he's present, and he uh, is doing his best to learn. And, uh, you know, he's hungry to, to learn more. And so that's that's a good thing. And, uh, you know, he's been he's been real cool to me, and I hope that, you know, I've been able to help him out along the way too. Hey, I know we've asked you a few times after these games just how your confidence has grown being the same other guy out there at the quarterback position. Um, now that you have two SEC wins under your belt, um, how more confident do you feel if you guys went into Arkansas this past day? Yeah, you know, I think the confidence has continued to rise, um, and that comes from playing well on the field. Uh, you know, when we're able to put more points on the board and we're able to convert more times on third down and, and execute our game plan better, that's that's definitely going to you know boost your confidence as an offense. And so uh, we just got to keep building on that, and that starts today at practice. And you know taking care of bias this week, make sure we're ready to go. Obviously, we're on the road again this week, so um, just take the steps necessary to, to build on what, what we've done the past two weeks. You mentioned Holden seeing more uh, reps in practice. Mm -hmm. did, did, did anything go wrong for him, or did he just kind of just, for whatever reason, just hold more reps last week? Um, yeah, that had to be a question for Coach. Uh, you know, I was, I was just, uh, um, you know, doing my thing in practice too and trying to execute during practice and um, you know go out there and uh, try to get better so I'll leave that at that. Ben, we talked about uh, the quarterback rotation a couple weeks ago about how to handle that and you were kind of like I'm not, I'm not sure. How, how have you felt the last two weeks especially this last game you, know, you, were, the, you were the only quarterback that got snaps. How has that felt during the game? Uh, you know, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't feel better. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's more uh, something I'm, I'm used to. Obviously, you know, the last couple of years, that, that's how that's how it was for me. And um, you know, just just keep rolling with that, and uh, you know, just keep building coaches' trust. And uh, you know, that happens throughout the week, and then obviously on the field on Saturday too. Got to go out and prove it. So, um, you know, I, I, I've drawn back to something that Tom Brady said. Uh, a while ago, I won't know the exact quote, but he just talked about, you know, he had won however many Super Bowls in his career, and he talked about how he still goes out. He feels like he has something to prove every day. His job is still up in the air. Uh, you know, the greatest 
player of all time is saying that, then why wouldn't every player in the country uh, have that same mindset? So that's my mindset every day going into practice and then obviously every game too. And, um, you know, just try to keep proving it, not only to your coach and your teammates, but to yourself too. You know, you want to always keep getting better and it's, it's fun when you do that. And so uh, just just keep, you know, that same mindset. That number you have one or two more. I mean, number you've played in the Big Ten against these defenses, and now that you've had a decent sample size of SEC defenses, is there any difference between them? Or faster, slower? What's, what's it like? Um, you know, I I wouldn't say it's too crazy different. It's still, you know, big time football. Um, you know, when I first got down here, uh, I noticed our DBs. Uh, our DBs were faster than what I was used to at my last place, and um, and so that was great to get to practice against uh, throughout camp and stuff like that. Um, and then as I've you know gone throughout the season, you know I feel like we have you know obviously some of the best DBs in the conference and, and I think across the country too. And so um, I wouldn't say it's too big of a difference. You know um, I felt like you know the two divisions are the two best divisions in football. I feel like um, and when I was there playing there, I felt I felt that way. And so I, I feel like it's fairly similar with the top teams. Freeze was talking about the protection being it's on you, it's on the running backs, on tight ends, kind of everybody. How did you evaluate how you guys did against Vanderbilt? He said maybe there were a couple that you guys said, you know, missed guys on the edge or something like that. How did you evaluate how you guys did? Yeah, you know, um, I'm sure Coach talked about how it's not, you know, it, it's a it's a group effort. It's not, you know, when people, when people see people in the backfield, they always say, oh, O-line, O-line, O-line. And, you know, the O-line oftentimes gets thrown under the bus. And, and so uh, there's a lot of different things that go into that, uh, you know, different down and distances with different techniques our offensive line is using on, on a certain play call or, you know, a uh, blitz that they brought that we hadn't seen on film. Uh, and so we, we made good adjustments, I thought, throughout the game. And, and in the second quarter, coach was talking to me on the sideline about some things they were doing. They, had, they were bringing a couple of pressures that we hadn't seen on film and, and were going against the rules that we had set for the week. And so uh, we just made an in-game adjustment. I thought we picked it up well in the second half. Um, you know, I thought our line did a good job throughout the game of, uh, in terms of technique and, and getting our eyes on guys. Um, at one point on third down, we I had made a call that we hadn't made all week, but it was I, I knew what they were doing and we hadn't practiced all week, so it's tough. Um, and so we, we weren't able to get it completely uh, picked up, but that was kind of a game time thing for me, just saying, hey, you know, I know we hadn't done this, but I know what they're doing here, so let's just let's get this. Um, and then, like Coach said, you know. I didn't look at it too critically, honestly. When I was watching the film of what we were missing, I was just going on our, on our rules set for the week of, hey, we're sliding this way with this, sliding it that way with that. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get better on that. And, and you know, I felt good with our plan going into it. And I thought that uh, we did a good job adjusting when we needed to, but I didn't think it was you know, too, too big of a deal.